Did you ever think you'd see a day when rockets would fly, land, and then fly again? And could you imagine that they would be built not by governments, but by a private company? Well, that day is here, and the company is SpaceX. The idea of reusable rockets once seemed far-fetched, a concept confined to the realm of science fiction. But today it's a reality, and the credit for this extraordinary achievement goes to SpaceX, a private company that has revolutionized space travel. SpaceX's Falcon rockets are the prime example of this new era of reusability. With the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, SpaceX has managed to not only launch payloads into orbit, but also return the first stage of the rocket back to Earth, landing it vertically either on land or on a drone ship at sea. This achievement has fundamentally changed the economics of space travel, reducing the cost significantly by reusing the most expensive parts of the rocket. But SpaceX is not stopping there. Their next ambitious project, the Starship, promises to take the concept of reusability to an entirely new level. Starship is envisioned to be a fully reusable transportation system, capable of carrying up to 100 people to destinations in space, including the Moon, Mars, and potentially beyond. Currently, Starship prototypes are under active development and testing at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. We all remember the astounding test launch of the Starship. The anticipation, the tension, and then the incredible spectacle of the giant spaceship lifting off, soaring into the sky, was a moment that those of us interested in space exploration will never forget. As the Starship climbed higher and higher, it was as if we were witnessing the dawn of a new era in space travel. Despite the initial successful liftoff, the prototype exploded shortly after launch. While it was a setback, it was also an opportunity for SpaceX to learn, improve, and iterate on their design. The SpaceX team is currently hard at work, making necessary modifications to ensure future successes. Indeed, SpaceX team has recently excavated a considerable trench, running from the production sites right up to the launch tower. This development is a game-changer as it will provide the launch site with a steady supply of electrical power, thereby negating the need for diesel generators that were previously in use. Work is also underway on the foundation of the orbital launch mount. The drilling rig has been busy carving out several deep holes next to the launch mount. The process involves the swift lowering of rebar cages into these holes, followed by the insertion of large pipes. The depth of these holes is immense, a fact made evident by the size of the pipes being used. In addition, pressurized gas canisters are being transported back to the water hammer tanks. An impressive photo from Kevin Randolph shows a cluster of almost 30 cylinders waiting to be installed. These high-pressure gas cylinders serve a crucial function. They propel water to the pad cooling or the upside-down shower system. Now, let's shift our attention to Massey, which has been a hive of activity of late. Crews have been seen working diligently inside Ship 25, following its recent proof testing. As of now, SpaceX has not commented on the progress of the tests, but the fact that Ship 25 returned to the launch site suggests that the testing had gone relatively smoothly. Ship 25 is a part of SpaceX's ongoing efforts to test and refine the design and capabilities of the Starship, which is envisioned to revolutionize space travel with its fully reusable system. Ship 25 has been the subject of rigorous testing at the SpaceX Starbase facility in Texas. SpaceX lifted Ship 25 onto Starbase's dedicated Starship static fire test stand on January 17th. This move further validates the assumption that the proof testing of Ship 25 went according to plan. Six Raptor engines were then moved into the high bay and installed on Ship 25, following which the Starship's aft was likely covered with a heat shield before being transported to the test site for its static fire test campaign. The outcome of this campaign will offer a lot of insights into the current status of Starship prototypes. So far, only two ships have completed full six Raptor static fire tests, and both took considerable time to reach those six engine milestones, with multiple smaller tests conducted along the way. If Ship 25 were to bypass these preliminary tests and immediately conduct a six engine static fire, it would be an indication that SpaceX has substantially increased confidence in the current Starship design. However, as of now, SpaceX has not confirmed which Starship prototype will be tested next for flight. With as many as 10 other Starship prototypes in different stages of assembly, it's unclear when the next Starship launch will take place. 
Even with the most sophisticated technology in human history, space exploration is a high-stakes endeavor fraught with uncertainties. When SpaceX's gigantic Starship vehicle lifted off on its first-ever fully-stacked test flight from the company's Starbase facility in South Texas, it showcased the power and potential of this remarkable piece of engineering. However, the aftermath of the launch revealed a scene of wreckage on the ground that raised questions. The powerful Starship, with its 33 first-stage Raptor engines, blew out a crater beneath the orbital launch mount damaging nearby infrastructure with flying chunks of cement and other debris. The question that emerged from the dust was, why wasn't SpaceX prepared for this outcome? Interestingly, Starbase's orbital launch mount does not have a flame trench, a structure designed to deflect plume exhaust away from the pad during liftoff. This is a common feature of pads that host launches of powerful rockets. Yet SpaceX, which had considered digging a flame trench at Starbase, decided against it. Musk had even noted back in October 2020 that aspiring to have no flame diverter could turn out to be a mistake. Yet even with the damage, it does not appear that Musk is second-guessing that decision. He revealed that SpaceX had started building a massive water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount three months ago, believing that the orbital mount's underlying concrete could survive one liftoff. SpaceX's assessment was based on data from Starship's first full-force static fire in February. Musk noted that the force of the engines during this test may have shattered the concrete, rather than simply eroding it, as the engines were only at half thrust for the static fire test. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest in space exploration and technology, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel.